my name is Andrew Mercossi, and today Dr. Ray and I will be playing the second movement of the Albright Sonata.
again, you got to have a plan as you play. Be bring to the teaching and go higher. They're low right now. If you play those two sharp, that's yeah, that's, that's that's fifteen cents flat, you know. And so you're using B probably, but you probably even you might in those situations have to shift. You, you don't know in the concert. You it can shift on you in a concert, you know, and in the middle after the first movement. You, you pianists can really beat the hell out of the piano in the first yeah, movement, and gone. suddenly you got to the second movement, and suddenly it's like, oh no, and you start hearing the inside the strings because the octaves aren't matching anymore on the opening. It's like it can be a problem. So your so your next level of insurance is low B flat to add to that. So I'd play that. Sixteen. Okay. 
Uh, now, after 15, we have a, um, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. This is not part of it. We have, oh, a two okay. bar, we have a two bar bridge to 16. So this is just like a segue, right? So this is 16, 16, okay. 17, 18, 19, 20. 20, that counts. Where she just starts going clean. The point is I'm playing, 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 playing. That's part of, that's just, that was 19, right? And then 20, or 20, that was 20, right? Mm -hmm. And then it's over. And we could kind of count this cycle here. K, are we, some of us looking at the music here? K, 4, 4, 3, 4, 2, 4, 5, 8. K is 21. So the codetta operates outside of that. The codetta is this little dream sequence, really, right? And then you have 21, and then you have the repeats. So however many she chooses to do. So the number there, I don't think there's any significance there. He never talked about that. Um, so I want you to think of this as a, as a, as a, as a travel log in some ways, like throughout, 20, or throughout uh, 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 the history of music. So it starts almost organum of, of a classic passacaglia, church modes, natural minor. And with each successive chacon, you're modernizing your sound and you're modernizing the sonorities that would be increasingly romantic until we get to this big rock Mononoff moment in E. That's like squarely early populist 20th century classical music, right? But, for, but then it starts to sort of go out, doesn't it? Yeah, right here it starts to become Weber and, and Bear and Babbitt and all that. So before F, before, before F.
for him, there was a power of, of the unknown, the mysticism of the cosmos. You know, of course, with Messian, everything is about overtly. You know, his music is about the, the Trinity and the liturgy of Christ and colors and and bird song and all these things because he believed the birds were the most uh, privileged creatures in existence because they got to touch the heavens, you know. And so, you know, so Messian's music is right on the nose. Jesus, colors, and birds. Okay? <laughs> all right? Now, so, but, but if you listen to all of, if you listen to all of Messian's music, there's always, if you listen to the, the last movement of the Quartet for the End of Time, it's just unbelievable. It literally is the ascent of Christ into heaven. You know, the whole movement, right? And, and, and it just gets further and further and further away from earth. And it gets up into the harmonics and no longer you can hear the, pian the string anymore. You can no longer hear the violin anymore. And you're at the highest notes of the piano. And the notes literally leave our range of hearing, right? Like leaving this plane of existence. That's what the last movement of the quartet of time is. It ends in an amazing place. This ascent is all over this piece too. The ascent. That's an element of this music. So you've got to treat it as such, you know, and, and, and look for these ways to just create these gentle sounds and this mark, this mark he has given you, the slur under the, uh, the staccatos under the slur. And it starts to really challenge what you do with your auction and your reeds, and, and boy, it just starts to put everything front and center with response, you know? Can you play that bomb? And, and it is sort of what you said, we want it to, we want it to be underneath the piano. The first, the tag of this chaconne is not as soft as the sotto voce, so the 5A. with air, right? 
you know? Just tonguing with air. There are no rules, it's just music. So this is tonguing with air, right? <laughs> Touch you, mm -hmm. alright? Push against my stomach, push against my hand. Even more, push against me. Okay, that's nice, that's starting to happen. Okay, now roll it off so that there's no space. Okay, good, beautiful. Can you eliminate key noise now? You didn't like the key noise. Good, very nice. How about how about a better C sharp? Maybe how about C one and one? <clears throat> maybe, maybe that's a little high, or three, or maybe low on that one. But it's the color I care about. So let's play that last bar. That's the last bar of that, of that Chacon, of Chacon 5. Let's play yeah. three and one. Okay. And, okay. You don't have to work so hard. No conducting at this point. Yeah, no. You don't need to show us anything. You need to, you need to take us to a, 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 another place. You need to, you, we, we don't bring attention to yourself. Just let this just be, you know? That ascends, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's just like the most tender moment, right? Here we go, ready?
the piano and the saxophone go in opposite directions dynamically. You stay forte while the piano goes to piano. And uh, you uh, have to stay loud here. Uh, and then subito piano and I. Can we play the climax for the pickup, my pickup? sound comes out of nowhere. It's like it's been interrupted. It's just a little interruption. And now it says the end tape. Okay. Your Codetta was beautiful. Make it sound more like Glenn Gould playing Bach. And don't make it romantic. <laughs> Maybe 